Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Prajapati and in this video or in this course, I am going to explain you about the architecture of the project as well as the problem statement. Okay, so first uh, we will understand about the problem statement and then we will come to the uh, architecture, right? So the project name will be procurement data automation or also you can say P2P, procure to pay. Okay, so let's come here. Now, see the project name is what procurement okay so what does in why i have chosen this okay so let let's let us understand so basically uh, in a company in very big company let's say i own one company geek coders okay and i have around uh, 10 to 15 employees over here right so for for each employees what i need is that i need some laptops right for my company I may need some stationary items. I may need some furniture, let's say tables and uh, pe uh, sorry, tables uh, and chairs, right? Furniture. I may need some hardware like, you know, hard disk. I may need, uh, you know, what? I can say uh, mouse, right? Printers and so, so things, right? I may need. So, in order to in order to get all these things, what I will do, I will raise a purchase order. 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 Purchase order P means purchase, O means order. Okay, and here I will say, ki, you know, uh, I need these many laptops quantity. Okay, and uh, for a company, I might have too many vendors list. Okay, so which vendor I should take. So let's say I am taking vendor 1. I want a laptop, XYZ laptop, uh, this many quantity from shop XYZ, private limited, whatever, right. Okay. Once now I will raise it, it will go to my CEO. CEO will approve it or maybe whatever the management, right. They will approve. Once they will approve, we, I will send this to the vendor. Hey, I need this. Now what they will do, they will generate a GR. It is actually optional. Many companies does not follow this, but usually they follow. So this is a GR, good receipt. It means I receive the, uh, I receive the material, right? What I have ordered. So let's say I ordered a laptop. So I have received the, uh, once I receive the, receive the uh, laptop in my company to my uh, in, in my company right then uh, the vendor will uh, generate a good receipt and it will be reached to me right now once it is done then a vendor will create an invoice right raise a invoice not create raise a invoice right for that particular laptop or material or whatever the same will go with the pen tables hard disk and mouse right everything will the process should will be same so the process what is the process now the process is, oh sorry, let me change the color, so process should be PO, GR and what, invoice, correct, very good. Now where the problem is, you know, what is the problem in this approach? Okay, you are saying, okay, we have PO, we have GR, we have invoice. So the problem here is that, think about a very big companies, right? So let's say I am buying, I am not going to buy one laptop for in a big company. I will buy a bulk, you know, let's say 100 laptop. And it takes some time also to get all those uh, orders, right? So if a company uh, create a PO, they are uh, HR or management will mention that, hey, I want 100 quantity. I want 100 quantity at XYZ, not XYZ, let's say 10,000 INR, okay, and for this vendor V1. Now GR will happen, means up, now what, what can happen is that maybe this vendor, V1 vendor, uh, you know, will send the, send the uh, laptop batches wise let's say 20 laptop uh, uh, you know 20 laptop he sends today and uh, 50 some other day 30 some other day and rest of 
rest of uh, no it's done right so 20 50 and 30 batch wise they can send okay and we decided that i will be get, i will be purchasing this at the cost of 10000 we agreed we agreed with the deal right now once i receive all these things they will raise a invoice now for invoice what may what they can do they may increase the price little let's say they have increased to 11000 right now now you know uh, okay they increase the price to 11000 so see we decided that hey you will me you will send the items at this cost 10000 and you increase the cost so there is a dispute happen there will be a dispute happen that hey we decided we we made an agreement but you increase the price so i am not going to pay you if it is like 1 dollar or 1 rupee no i am no one i mean ma many companies let it go but in ideal case if it is 1 rupee or 1 dollar or 2 dollar also we should not leave it right but it depends on the company now this is one of the scenario where the where the price is not matching or maybe price not matching or maybe the laptop model number or the material is not matching right so that can also be the case so we have to identify this now the second problem is that let me change the pen hmm, okay now second problem is that we have handed uh, here we have handed quantity right now they own what what might happen that what may happen that maybe the vendor send only some limited quantity let's say 20 and uh, 50 he sends and he generated an invoice for 100 pieces 100 quantity that also an issue right why i will pay the uh, more amount right you send me only some limited uh, items and this happens i mean usually vendors does this and we have a, we have to identify it so what we can say here if po gr and invoice okay po ka quantity and amount should be match here with quantity should be match here with quantity and amount right then we can say that everything is good here if it is not then maybe we can say hey it's not correct we have to raise some flag also in invoices we have a invoice date and a due date okay so usually we have to check what are the invoices we have where we did not uh, pay the amount or where the due date is overlapped or overpassed right that we have to check and we have to raise the flag hey this is not being paid so we have to talk to the vendor or other stuff other people and get it paid right this is the problem statement for this project so now let's come to the architecture so here is the architecture here what i'm gonna do i am i am we have a google drive so you can think about it can be a adls s3 bucket any api any other folders so system right uh, we are gonna use here free addition of databricks and there i might not need i might not have uh, the access on adls so that's why i have chosen here some open source uh, tool or you know uh, the tool or we can say a kind of uh, uh, app so that everyone can use this or build this project right so we, we have here google drive where there what i am going to do i am going to put the uh, purchase order uh, receipts good receipts and invoice all these things i am going to put into into this google drive location so you can say i have created one folder called procurement data so if i open this purchase order folder you can see we have these many uh, to these these many things we have it right now you can see if i open this now we have a po underscore number po underscore date vendor name so this is a very sam sample or simple invoice or we can say pdf 
right so from from this pdf i have to extract the information i have to extract all the information and save it into our gold layer or silver layer and then you know make a make a i mean a bronze layer silver layer and the gold layer right i have to do it for each uh, uh, pdf right that's what's the this is what we have to do it so you know the uh, uh, all all these things will be here in the google drive i have to pull it into the staging volume and the unity catalog then i will be writing some dlt or you know something over uh, some logic i will be writing uh, and i will be pulling the information from that uh, you know a pdf into a text format and put into the bronze layer and then i will be using some model with that what we can do we can extract the information uh, uh, you know and save it into a structured format into the go into the silver layer then i will be creating here embedding so what does embedding means you know i need in some of the places i need to do a i need to do a similarity search okay so for that i i may need here embedding for all these three tables but it's optional you know once we move into this stage or you know into this uh, point i will let you know whether it is required or not but i will show you like what is the purpose of it like what is embedding how to create it right then see if you uh, if you see over here i have and i will be passing this table this logic into a llm layer and asking hey whether po is is uh, equal to gr and equal to invoice or not if it is then i will be saving that data into the gold layer and then sending or else you know i will be sending some email alerts saying that hey this uh, vendor or this invoice is not uh, or this po is not matching with the you know the invoice or not and the same thing i will be showing to the dashboard in this project i am going to use unity catalog schemas table and volumes notebook model serving endpoint pipelines dashboard sql alerts workflow and governance for group spn masking it is optional okay now let's understand the data see actually you know um, uh, with the help of this data only i created a pdf okay so now you, you can understand the data you can see we have this one po number so as i as i mentioned that for every i mean if i want to buy something i will raise one po okay i will raise one po so this is the po this is the po now po and this is the po underscore date okay uh, this uh, has been you know created on this date and vendor name is this i want uh, dell dell latitude 7440 laptop from this vendor okay and it's a material category is uh, it's it hardware and uh, numbers material unit so i need eight quantity unit price is, price is this and delivery date should be should be this okay now now likewise we have around 10 uh, things over here okay very good now if i go to gr now you will see here we have the same uh, you know same po number and we have here gr for i mean uh, we have gr date good receive date and we have the same material right vendor name is also same receive quantity is 8 now you can understand here the material name is little bit different del latitude 7440 okay and here we have del latitude 7440 laptop but i actually these two things are the same i mean the material names are same material is same right there is a some uh, uh, mistake uh, might happen you know uh, while writing the or while filling the form something like that it happened because of that only it is not showing now i told you one example right this example you can say so what he did uh, what he did he sends uh, you know a marker two times one is eight and seven so the sum is 15 right so if i see the po number five so they ask for 15 quantity right so you know uh, this scenario also i have covered and this is the invoice and in, in invoice you can say this is uh, you know uh, the po number and then this is uh, this should be uh, this is the vendor name this this should be the invoice amount so invoice amount should be uh, should be what quantity into quantity into unit price so if i multiply this it should be it should be the same 
right it should be the same and then we have some vendor uh, vendor uh, uh, details and we have some materials uh, details right what is the brand unit number model number daga 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 right all these things we have it right so we have to build the project on this so it is going to be very excited project to be honest and the main goal of this project is to tell you about the about the llm how you can use llm i am see maybe you can use python logics now see i'll just give you one uh, hint over here what i'm going to do in order to fetch that data from uh, pdf i mean from pdf right i we can also use llm we can also use some python libraries so i'm going to use python library now once the data is saved into text format right i need to make it a make it a proper format mean structure format right a table format uh, right so in order to do that i can all i can use regex i can also use nowadays llm models for that so just a straight simple line that said nothing has to be worried about it just uh, write the code simple one line code and it will automatically fetch everything in a tabular format so those things i am going to do it now 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 i was telling you one thing i was showing you one thing the name you can see here dell latitude 7440 okay or uh, let's say think about this thinkpad e14 gen 5 right now if i go to po po also has the po also has the same name but if i go about gr right gr also has the same thing invoice may maybe okay i did not change over here so think about that uh, you know uh, we have this dell latitude 7440 laptop right and here we have in gr we have only 7440 now how if you write a sql over here you have to write multiple fuzzy logics right so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a embedding and i'm going to uh, do a similarity search based on the similarity search it will say that hey dell laptop dell latitude 7440 and uh, uh, dell latitude 7440 laptop is the same item it's not a different item right that's what i'm going to do it okay so with that uh, please wait for a second video and uh, this is going to be very useful project to be honest because companies are building project they are using uh, uh, you know or leveraging ai uh, ai and llms in in such a way only you know where i do not need to write too much logics and i can you know enhance or i can build the project right that's what and um, thank you uh, for watching uh, the video till the end till here and we'll meet you in the next lecture